In lesson three, uh, we put everything together to formulate the hypotheses test, the chi-squared hypotheses test, which is going to be the likely format in which all of this um, comes together um, in the form of a question. Okay, so we've talked about an, an alternative before. They're always set up in the same way. No difference between observed and expected, and um, there is a significant difference between observed and theoretical. It's always one-tailed, chi-squared hypotheses, it's always, the alternative hypothesis is always a greater than. Okay, so if we consider example one, we've got our observed, and we've got our expected. And we want to test at the 5% significance level whether or not observed um, and expected are significantly similar enough um, to represent a discrete uniform distribution. Okay, so state your null and your alternative. Okay, observed distribution can be modeled by a discrete uniform distribution. This is not biased. Uh, and uh, cannot be modelled by discrete uniform. So try and set up the null and alternative with reference to context where you've got that to work with. Degrees of freedom is equal to your number of cells, six, take away your number of constraints, one. So six take one, degrees of freedom is five. Okay, critical region. So we've already dealt with this example earlier. Critical region 11.07. Our calculation of our goodness of fit statistic came out to be 3.4, whichever way we calculated it, or you could get it straight off your calculator. Um, so we then can compare that 3.4 with our critical region. It's less than our critical value. And therefore, that supports the null hypothesis that there is not enough evidence to reject the null at the 5% level. There is insufficient evidence to suggest that the dice is biased. OK, so that's sort of putting everything together uh, in um, what would be a typical chi-squared hypothesis testing question. So you are working out the goodness of fit statistic. You're using the chi-squared distribution uh, to approximate the whole process so that you're able to um, consider critical values uh, and therefore um, significance levels and be able to perform the, uh, the hypotheses.